Most of the time, minor air loss is just a sign that your body is growing new LD ones to replace the old. In fact, losing up to 100 airs per day is totally normal. However, figuring out why you're suddenly losing more air than usual can be tricky because there are many different causes of air loss. In this video, we'll share with you insightful causes of air loss because it's one step in the right direction. Hair loss can be devastating, but if you think your hair might be thinning, know that you're not alone. There are many factors responsible for this. Are you still confused about what causes air loss? Then, this video is your answer. Number 1. Age Almost everyone encounters air loss and air thinning as they age. As we grow older, our cells die off more quickly than they regenerate. That's why we get weaker bones and thinner skin. It's a similar process for our hair too. We also produce less oil in our scalp, which makes our air weak and brittle as we age. This contributes to overall air loss and thinning. Number 2. Hereditary Sometimes, air loss is caused by a combo of genes and hormones. This is usually referred to as pattern baldness. Both male and female pattern baldness is genetic. Males tend to lose air from the temples and crown of the head. In females, hair usually becomes thinner all over the head. This type of air loss occurs in both men and women when the air follicle shrinks so much over time that it doesn't grow new hair. Number 3. Physical or Emotional Stress Most times, our bodies perceive mental stress the way it perceives physical stress. When our body is stressed, it releases the hormone cortisol, which affects the air follicle and results in shedding or air loss. Stressful life events like losing a loved one, going through surgery, or being diagnosed with a serious disease, bankruptcy, or other financial problems can increase your risk for air loss. However, this type of air loss is not permanent. Number 4. Autoimmune conditions such as lupus Diabetes and lupus are two autoimmunes that can result in air loss. Lupus is essentially an autoimmune disease in which your immune system attacks your own body's healthy cells, tissues, and healthy air follicles. This causes air to fall out in one or more small patches. The cause of this condition is unknown, although it's more common in people who have other autoimmune diseases. This type of air loss may sometimes be permanent but medications and air restoration surgeries may help compensate for any air loss. Number 5. Hormonal Changes Hormones help to regulate nearly every function in our body, including air growth. An underactive thyroid, hypothyroidism, or an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism, can result in air loss because each condition causes hormonal imbalance. Polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, is another imbalance in male and female sex hormones. An excess of androgens can lead to ovarian cysts, weight gain, changes in the menstrual period, as well as air thinning. Number 6. Nervous habits such as continual air pulling. Trichotillomania, classified as an impulse control disorder, causes people to compulsively pull their air out. Unfortunately, this constant playing and pulling can actually strip your head of its natural protection. This leads to air breakage and thinning. Number 7. Infections Infections can affect the scalp and cause air to fall out. This happens when bacteria, yeast or fungi overgrow and invade air follicles. You might see pus bumps, redness and scaling. The scalp can feel itchy or even painful. Bacterial infections like syphilis can also be responsible for balding or thinning air. Number 8. Nutritional Deficiencies Essential vitamins and nutrients that you'll get from a balanced diet ensure good health all throughout your body. Poor nutrition can lead to nutrient deficiencies, especially a deficiency of protein, iron, zinc or biotin can cause air loss. Number 9. Medications 
Certain medications usually cause air loss as a side effect. It doesn't happen to everyone taking these medications. However, air loss can occur with certain blood thinners and blood pressure drugs known as beta blockers. Other drugs that might cause air loss include some cholesterol-lowering medications and possibly antidepressants. Number 10. Extreme Air Styling Vigorous styling and air treatments over the years can cause your hair to fall out. Examples of extreme styling include tight braids, air weaves or cornrows, as well as chemical relaxers to straighten your hair. It also includes oat oil treatment or any kind of harsh chemical or high heat. These practices can actually affect your air roots and permanently damage the air follicles. Number 11. Chemotherapy and Radiation Cancers occur due to cells that grow too quickly. Chemotherapy drugs are often used to kill up these cells so that they don't form tumors or spread. However, because cells in your air follicles grow quickly, chemotherapy can affect your air too. Radiation therapy used in cancer treatment also causes air loss. While chemotherapy can cause air loss throughout the body, Radiation therapy usually only affects the area that's treated. With both types of treatments, air loss is generally temporary. However, you can expect your air to regrow in a few months. Losing your air isn't the end of the world, but for most people, it certainly isn't ideal. Boldness is preventable, but early intervention is key. If you start to notice thinning, shedding or air loss of any kind, it is important to get on a regimen as soon as possible. Remember, air loss is a progressive condition and only gets worse with time. And there is a point where it is not treatable. We hope you get utmost clarity about air loss from this video. If so, subscribe to this channel now. Which of the facts mentioned in this video seem new to you? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comment section.